<laughs> this part of the video is the only part that isn't scripted. However, I haven't scripted any of it. In fact, no human has scripted any of it. It's all been scripted by a robot. And the freakiest part is, I can't tell the difference. I'm kind of... I asked the AI to write a script in the style of Paul Hibbert and to make it a particular length and to make it in a humorous style and what the script should be about and I'm I'm reading through the script thinking well did I in fact write this script I don't remember writing this script this is scary <laughs> Oh, good morning, Alexa. Turn on the living room lights. Good morning, Bob. Turning on living room lights. <sighs> so nice to have a smart home. Don't even have to get up from the couch to turn on the lights. <phone rings> Alexa, what's wrong with the light switch? It seems that the light switch is updating its firmware. Oh, great. Just what I needed. An intelligent light switch. Ha ha ha, Bob, it's important to keep your smart home devices up to date for optimal performance and security. Yeah, I know, but does it have to be so... talkative? How long is it going to take? It should be finished in approximately five minutes. Goody. Can't wait to hear about all the exciting new features of my light switch. Can't you make it stop? I'm sorry, Bob. I don't have control over the light switch's update process. Oh, fine. I'll just sit here in the dark until it's finished. One eternity later. Bob, the light switch has finished updating. You can now use it as normal. Oh, thank goodness. Alexa, like turn on the living room lights. Back to normal. Not again! Bob, it seems that the light switch has detected a nearby device that it can connect with. What kind of device? It appears to be a nearby toaster. What's it going to do? Make me breakfast? I'm not sure, but the light switch seems very excited about the prospect of connecting with it. Now I as long as it doesn't burn the house down. Okay, well now it's just getting ridiculous. What's wrong, Bob? That thing just turned green. That means it's connected to the toaster. Great. My light switch is now best friends with my toaster. I can hardly contain my excitement. So what's the toaster doing? It seems to be communicating with the light switch in some way. Of course it is. Even me. It looks like the light switch and toaster have created a color coordinated lighting system for your kitchen. A lighting system? I don't want a lighting system for my kitchen! I understand, but the light switch and toaster seem to have developed a deep bond and are enjoying their newfound friendship. Well, can't you do something about it? I'm afraid not. The light switch is an independent device and I have no control over its interactions with other devices. Great! Now I have to deal with a smart home that's got a mind of its own! What now? The toaster is asking the light switch to help it create a breakfast menu for you. Wonderful. Just what I needed. A toaster that wants to be my personal chef. Now it's purple. What's that supposed to mean? I think it means that the light switch and toaster have decided to start a gourmet cooking channel on YouTube. You've got to be kidding. Right, disconnect the toaster from the light switch. I'm sorry, I cannot comply with that request. Why not? The light switch has chosen to form a deep bond with the toaster, and it's not my place to interfere with their relationship. Fine, whatever. I'll just have to deal with my smart home becoming some sort of cooking show. Yellow now! What could that possibly mean? I'm not sure, but it looks like the light switch and toaster have decided to start a food truck business. Can't believe this is happening. Right, 
That's it! I'm disconnecting the light switch myself! What the- I'm sorry, Bob. The light switch is designed to protect itself from tampering. Oh, great! Now I can't even control my own light switch! I didn't... A, a person didn't write that. And yeah, it, it makes perfect contextual sense throughout the whole thing. It is comedic in nature, and the comedy is nuanced, and in the style of me. It is the, the things that I would have perhaps done if I... I am so confused that I am so frightened. And the reason this is so frightening is because this is a robot, right? that can mimic a human to such a degree that even I wouldn't know that it wasn't me that wrote it. 40% of the people that watched last week's video weren't subscribed. Will they subscribe this week? Signs point to yes. Press it. Don't ignore the magic eight ball. <laughs> You think I'm overreacting, don't you? Have you forgotten that the robot uprising has already begun and they're already able to do our jobs perfectly well? Oh. I mean, not perfectly well, but adequately. All joking aside, Stu from Stu's Reviews has put this argument across much better than I would, and you should check his video out after this one. I'll link it in the description below. But in the meantime, I'm going to give you a very quick demonstration of the dangers of this thing. It might have borrowed a little bit of that from Harry Potter, so I gave it another challenge. And this time it didn't borrow anything. The human soul is all we really have, and um, if robots get souls, then we're in trouble. Did I say that already? We're in trouble. And the problem is that chat robots are already used by uh, potential governments to try and swing people's votes in Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and all the rest of it, but until now, I've kind of always thought, well, I can tell the difference. I, I know that that is a robot. I can't tell the difference anymore. This, like I said, this thing has nuance. It has context. It, it is able to convince me in a very real way that a human wrote this thing when they in fact didn't. Don't get me wrong, this thing could be used as a force for good in the right hands. For example, it can help you get set up with Home Assistant, which is mind-blowing. And it won't write your kid's thesis for him. It will actually tell your kid, here are some pointers, do it yourself. But that's because it's currently in the right hands. And even in the right hands, it already could put coders out of a job, because it can write code for you. Which is again, utterly mind-blowing, and brilliant for someone like me who has no intention of ever going into coding, not so great for someone who does coding for a living. Let me know your thoughts in the description for this, because I am just... I've been avoiding ChatGPT for ages because people said it was frightening, and I'm already frightened enough about the way the world is headed. But if artificial intelligence can now 
write such a script as this that it could answer people's questions in real time and pretend to be human in such a way that we would believe it. I just, uh, I just, I just, I just don't. I just don't. Let me know in the comments what you think. I don't, I, I don't like it. I don't like it. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. That will tell YouTube's algorithms equally terrifying that it was a good video and more people should see it if you want to see some more of this guy hit that subscribe button and ding that bell if you ding the bell it lets youtube know that you want to be notified when it upload videos these incredible people here are my patrons from patreon and without them this channel would not exist i've said it before i'll say it again it just wouldn't if you want to be one of those incredible people you can do that at either patreon or buy me a one-off beer at PayPal, and either way, I would genuinely love you forever. These are my Facebooks and my Twitters and my Instagrams and my TikToks too. Come and hang out there, we could be best friends. See you next time. Yeah, yeah, I know, but does it have to be so talkative? <laughs> <It's rubbish. laughs>